So it's that time of year again in the Diamond Dynasty cycle where we are playing Conquest. And the reward this year for beating Conquest is an 88 overall Mike Piazza card. Of course, he's a catcher who there's not that many good catchers in this game right now. Um, there's a couple live series guys, of course. You got Romuto, Perez, and Yasmani Grandal, amongst others. And then you got, of course, like the guys in the face franchise program. You got Carson Kelly, Sean Murphy. But Mike Piazza is one of the best catchers you're going to be able to get right now. Like, I think Carson Kelly is pretty good, but uh, Piazza is really good as well. So if you're going to try to beat this Conquest, obviously, you're going to have to do the same thing that we've kind of been doing the last couple of years. Um, something I will know this year though the cpu is a lot more aggressive than they've been in previous years in this conquest uh, they're a lot tough i mean i wouldn't say they're a lot tougher to beat but um they're they're just more aggressive so you really just have to pay more attention to what they're going to do but stick to your normal strategy that i think is the easiest way to do it when everyone plays conquest you move to the pacific northwest like head to seattle head up and um and to the left it's always the easiest thing to do and this year you don't have to steal any fans so, like if you're going to complete all the goals you don't have to you know look at the steals fan steal fans stage anymore because there's no need to anymore like it used to be you have to you have to steal like 15,000 fans or 15 million fans to complete all the objectives you don't even have to do that this year so basically steal fans like that's not even like part of conquest anymore you don't have to pay attention at all to that so it's just you're just playing the damn map i think this should take you in i would say 45 minutes too. that's how long this took me just complete the map to fill the entire map with all my territory. It's going to get weird here in just a second because my team color is purple and the Rockies are purple too. So you're going to think that we have like one big um, territory. But so we have like most of this, like we're above the Rockies. We're a different shade of purple. You can barely see it, but like and this shouldn't take too long. It's I think 45 minutes, ma 45 minutes max. And then playing the three inning games just suck. I, I mean, I did this in all one day. Again, it took me a while, but um, it's just it's just a grind. It's I would do it though because the XP you're gonna get and because the parallels you're gonna complete and because of the stubs and it's gonna help you go towards the face of the franchise program, which is essentially what we're all trying to do right now. And we should have a pack opening coming later to the channel as well. I might play some ranked seasons as well and open some packs. So be on the lookout for that. And folks, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more Diamond Dynasty. So yeah, be on the lookout for packs and some ranked seasons coming very soon as we just continue to move up to the north. It's the simplest way to do this. Don't worry about the Twins, the Cubs, the Royals, and Brewers that might interfere with you um, in the Midwest. They're not going to do much. Like, they're not going to attack your stronghold that, yes, we only have 1 million fans on. They're never going to attack it. And that's... It's been that way for the last couple of years in um, in conquest. Again, they're going to be more aggressive trying to push you out of your out of your land, but they're not going to, you know, try to take your territory, your, your stronghold. So pretty simple. We're just going after the Mariners, and we're going to go after the Giants, A's. I'll work left to the west, then we're going to work down to the southwest, and then from there, you just move from Pacific, the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean. That's pretty much how you do it. So again, take California, take Washington, take Arizona, take New Mexico, and you know, Washington, take all in Oregon, take those states, move left, and then just work up and down. Like you'll see it in a second. So again, you just got to fill the top of America and then work your way down to like San Diego and then keep going back and forth up and down the map. It's it's a pretty simple thing to do. And you're going to complete all these objectives and get all these hidden packs as well. I think total I got for completing, you know, the map and plus the, uh, I think it's a 10 pack bundle you get at the end. I think you get 24 packs. Not bad. I mean, 24 packs is solid. Again, is it worth the time? I would say it is. If you're going to grind Diamond Dynasty, it's worth it just considering there is no showdown this year that you can just continuously grind over and over and over again like we would in years past. Like last year, we had the, you know, the NL and AL showdowns that we would just go, you know, keep playing over and over again to grind that XP, to grind the stubs and all that. There is none of that this year. I mean, there's only one, one showdown you can do, and it's, I mean, yeah, you can keep replaying it, but it's just for stubs at that point, and the stubs you're going to make aren't the greatest. Like, yeah, you could do it, but you know, there's more productive things you can do to gain XP and all that. So I wouldn't suggest you can continue playing Shadow over and over again. Complete the conquest if you're going to grind. I've, I have not gotten into mini seasons yet on um, the offline season mode on Diamond Dynasty. I will make a video about that. I just haven't gotten around to playing that. I don't even know if there's a nine inning games. I don't know if there's three inning games. Um, to my to my knowledge, I don't believe co-op is like anything. I think you can gain XP and stuff from co-op, but gaining like actual rewards, I don't think there are none, at least not for now on co-op. I could be wrong, but I don't think there is anything right now. Ranked seasons, of course, is ranked seasons like it normally is. Obviously, I'm going to play it, but it's just it's just kind of a grind. It's nine inning games. Like, I'd much rather play BR. Like, last year, I two years ago when I first, you know, really started playing MLB a lot, I'm MLB, MLB 20 The Show was my first year where I really played Diamond Dynasty. And, like, I actually, like, you know, try to, like, you know, uh, seriously play it. I made World Series in the second month, um, and, you know, I didn't really get the the itch to play ranked seasons afterwards after you after i got ranked seasons but i did it pretty easily i think i went like 50 and 6 my first time around on it and that's through, through through two seasons i just didn't get to it my first season the second season of world series we got it pretty easily um i think we went like i don't know like 30 and like two in it but um 
Uh, last year, I just played a lot of BR. Just I think BR is more fun than ranked seasons. Um, but this year, I, I should probably play some ranked seasons as well. It's the same thing though. BR is the same thing as well. 12 wins, you get the 12 and 0, you get the BR reward if you win 12 in total. Um, and with one loss, and you get a high diamond as well. It's just, it's kind of the same thing. Conquest is kind of the same thing as well. I'm not showing, you know, me actually playing these teams because once you get to this point in the map, and like where we're at right now, right? We've got a lot of territory. We're surrounding the Rockies, surrounding the A's, Mariners, Giants, Angels, and Dodgers. Once you get to this point, do not worry at all. Like you see in the top left, the Mariners are kind of, you know, building their base back up and the A's are as well. Don't worry about that because you're at the point where you have so many reinforcements. Again, try to take up as many empty spots as possible because once you, you know, get as many territories or marks on the map, then you get more fans that you can reapply in the reinforced stage. So don't worry about them building up their own base because if I wanted to right now, I could put 20 fans right next to the A's two little 1 million fan spots and take that right back immediately. So just worry about improving your, you know, your space in the map. And I think that's, I mean, like this is like a long time ago when I first started playing Conquest is we're gonna go into really like four times speed right here um on this as we unlocked a Curtis Granderson I do believe um but yeah we're just gonna have this going on in the background when I first played Conquest I didn't really get the point of like I, I and this is like a long time ago when Conquest first came out I played the steel fans and all of that I you know I took my time playing the Conquest map don't worry about what the other teams do because you're always as long as you can acquire that empty space to the northwest you're gonna be fine. Like you're gonna be fine. You're gonna keep building your base and you're gonna keep doing what we're doing here. Again, do not, I do not care what the Angels are doing. I don't care what the Dodgers. Once you fully surround one team's base and don't like go out of your way to surround them, but just work your way around the map. And once you, you know, once the, you know, the time is right, then you circle each team, like as we're gonna do right now with, um, or as I guess we're going to with the, uh, the, Ra the Royals and the Rangers. Once you get to them, then they're really neutralized. Because again, we're at this point where every single phase, every single turn, we're on turn 17, we have so many millions of fans that we can reapply to each one of our um, territories to where we're not concerned at all. As we're working down in Texas now, it, it, again, it's rinse and, repeat, it, rinse and repeat, it's kind of the same thing, but it works. And I'm not gonna show me playing, you know, each territory stronghold game because Again, you should be able to play this on rookie every single time. I, I've seen that dudes, you know, sometimes they'll play on all-star, play on veteran. It doesn't matter. I mean, you, like you can play on all-star, that's fine because you know you don't want to, because rookie sometimes it's too easy and you know, the pitch speeds are a hell of a lot slower. So, I mean, I get that playing on all-star, but I mean, you, you can just play on rookie and just smash the baseball. It's, you can really just, you don't even have to be paying pay attention to the game. I mean, as long as you make hard contact and you know, as long as you know what you're doing, you can just keep playing this on rookie and, it's again it takes a while but eventually you'll get it done eventually you'll just be done with the conquest map and you won't have to play conquest for another year so just get done on the first day like i'm doing right now I mean, we're surrounding the astros i know it's going really quick but you're seeing in you know fast in in, in a time lapse how quickly you can get this done because now what we get reinforcements of 50 million every single time you're gonna keep gaining and gaining and gaining and by each each turn it should be easier and easier for you to do so i think turns wise i got this thing done quicker than i did last year i'm gonna check last year for lb21 the show how long it took me how long it took me and how many turns it did take me um to at least just complete the map to fill out the map with all of our spots um but i think if i'm not mistaken it was faster this year than it was last year because we didn't have to do the steel fans phase so let me check right now um, it took me like 35 stages, 35 turns last year to do it. Just because again, we were more worried about steel, steel fans and all of that. Yeah, all right, sorry, it took me 25. So actually, it might be about, about the same. Honestly, it might be about the same. Um, but again, it's Conquest. They really haven't done anything to change it this year. I hope next year there's, you know, I mean, I get the US maps cool and all, but like, give me a, like, give me a challenge. Like put me like right next to the, the, the Astros and Rangers. Like I think that'd be cool. But does anyone like really like seriously care about Conquest? Like actually like, care about the mode's integrity? Probably not. Again, you're doing this for the Mike Piazza card. There's a Didi Gregorius um, that you're going to get as well. There's a Kerry Wood you're going to get. You're going to get Didi for completing all of the AL teams, um, and then you're going to get Kerry Wood after completing all the NL teams. I might use Kerry Wood in the bullpen, considering I don't have any diamonds on the pen right now, because I just spent, you know, I spent 100 when the game came out, opened some packs, and I haven't really spent anything after that, and it's hard to get stubs this year. Don't get me wrong, because there's no showdown. It is tougher to get stubs. XP's about the same, but stubs are kind of hard to come by right now. Like, I'm sitting at like 50k, and I grinded the hell at this game yesterday. That's when I finished the Conquest map. It's tougher to get stubs now. It definitely is. Um, so I'll be using the carry wood. The DD card, probably not, because I, I pulled another card out of the face of the franchise packs that should be coming in the pack opening that we're going to be posting very soon as well, and you're going to see on my Ranked Seasons video as well. That's better than DD Gregorius, but the Kerry Wood card's not bad. I'm probably not gonna use Piazza either. I might put him on the bench, but I, you know, I'm not a big fan of Piazza swing. I never have been. Um, and basically, here we are. This is the map, and it's completely filled out. I mean, now you just beat each team every single like it took me 24 turns this time. Okay, so one less turn this time than last year. Um, here on the conquest map, we're just a little bit more efficient this time. The sim does go by go by a little bit quicker, so 
you know, just saves you a little bit of time. But that'll do it, folks. From here, you just basically just keep reinforcing next to each team's territory, and then you keep keep on keeping on. Um, and you put 99 to a spot, and then you beat the team on rookie. You have to do it 30 times. I know it takes a while, but you got to do what you got to do here on Conquest. And folks, thank you all for watching some Diamond Dynasty here on the channel. Be on the lookout for more of ranked seasons. we got some pack openings. might play some BR as well, some co-op. Who knows? We have a lot of Diamond Dynasty coming to the channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below for more. Thank you all for watching, folks. And Mamba, forever.